Hi, this is Josh with Scout Reviews. And I'm Travis. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get. Hey, welcome to Scout Reviews. I'm Josh. And I'm Travis. And we have a guest today, Jason here. He is a uh, local alcoholic that we bring along occasionally to some of our gatherings. Man, we don't like to use that word. It's advanced drinker. But we can't call him an advanced drinker. Where would you rate yourself on the tasting scale? Mm, would wow. you go a noob? Oh, no. A beginner? More intermediate. Somebody that knows enough to get in trouble? Oh, absolutely. Okay, okay perfect, outstanding. Perfect. There we go. Yep. I would still consider myself a beginner moving into the intermediate stage. Mm, I'm right there with you. So, Mr. Knowledge over here is the one we're going to lean on on this video. That's what I get for sounding confident. Yes, that is what you get. All right, <laughs> so what we're dealing with today is a Willet Rye. This is a, it's been aged for four years, an American white oak, I believe. Yeah, it's 57% alcohol by volume, it's 114 proof. And we're just going to get right into it. We're only doing a single bottle review this video. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let us know if you like it, if you like anything better. This bottle is roughly $80 here in the Houston, Texas area. And that is with the regular type stores that is not secondary or third pricing. So yeah, let's go ahead. Go ahead and do the honors, sir. All right, watch me spill this everywhere. Yeah. So some of you may recognize Willet from those uh, fun little bourbon bottles that are shaped like a... We have one behind us if you want to show it. Oh yeah, like this right here. So but that's what they're kind of known for, but uh, obviously a lot bigger here. Hmm. So I'll be curious um, thank you. How, they, how, they, how they approach this one. We'll talk about the Willet bourbon later. I don't know. Hey, uh, that'll be a different video. Yes. All right. I open that up a little bit. Let's see. That is. Do you uh, want to show the folks at home? Yeah, we'll put that over here. Right over here next to me so I don't knock it over. Let's see. It's an attractive bottle. A rare release from the Willow Distillery. Just a shade under, um, shade under cast drink. Just a little bit. All right. So, brand new bottle. We have not tried this. Uh, Jason, uh, he got the neck pour because we're nice like that. <laughs> <laughs> Special. And all right. Nose is nice. That is a that is a rye. Absolutely. A rye. You know, you get that nice anise, uh, vanilla, little little oak. You said niece. Anise. Oh, anise. 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 Do we it's have a nephew? Seat. No. Yeah. Well, okay. I see what you did there. I'm sorry. Um, I don't even have kids. I don't have guys kids. You know, you he's got know. uncle jokes though, because mm -hmm. he's an uncle. Exactly. Um, Ooh, wait, uncle jokes are bad. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, no. these are being recorded. Um, um, it looks like a taro root. Yeah, the smell. I could see that. Wow. Mm. Um, I'll put in boba in there though. You know, I kind of get a wheat brand cereal. Wheat brand cereal. Yeah. What is it with you and wheat brand cereal? I'm just telling you, that's what my nose gets. You can't judge it. I haven't had wheat brand since I was, you know. Shorter than that, actually. Maybe you're going through withdrawals. No, I don't think so. Actually, <laughs> I never did like it. Almost. Anyway, I'm not going to get all. Almost like Chex, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, okay. it absolutely does have that mm -hmm. smell. Yeah. See, see, you say Chex, and my brain went, ah, yes. He says wheat bran, and I'm just like, no, yeah, man. yeah exactly. My my uh, ace bud memory goes long, 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 <laughs> lot further back than yours. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of want to try it. All right. Well, there's. So let's let's get into it a little bit more since we're doing a well, single bottle. Yeah, review. you might as well. And you uh, you haven't given us your thoughts yet. Well, it smells like Chex. Okay, the that's actually really good. The unsugary kind. Got it. Mm -hmm. The darker ones. Yeah, uh, the rye chips. The rye chips. Uh, How about that? I see what he did there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of some dark, like plum, maybe. Mm -hmm. 
it's dark plum. So it, it's only I mean, fruity for as much. Yeah, there's a lot of fruit. It. Some strawberries, some other berries. I can almost um, get more fig. So what was that video? Like you sent fig me? or date? Yeah. Fig or date? Yeah. yeah. Did you see that video earlier this week? Yes. No, yes. Kidding. <laughs> get your nose into it. Get your nose into it. Anyway, I'm, I won't go down. And, and there's though. a little, I mean, it's a bourbon. You can smell some of the vanilla. And it's a rye, right? Yeah, it's a rye. Mm. I'm not getting any of the, uh, I'm not getting any citrus, though. No, no. Um, it's interesting, though. None of us have an issue smelling it, despite it being 57%. I mean, we kind of do this all the time. Well, yeah, and he's the still... he's the intermediate. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's the intermediate drinker, oh, so. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Whenever you screenshot this video, here we go, you can. <laughs> Caught that right there. There you go. Put that on your wall. It'll be great. All right. I'm ready to taste this. I've All been right. staring at this bottle for weeks now. All right. It's got punch. It does have punch, but honestly, that's not bad. I'm actually getting the citrus now and tasting it. Yeah. I am. Orange peel, candied orange peel. Sure. Yeah, I see that. Almost a little bit of grapefruit in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more grapefruit than orange mm -hmm. for me. Um, I'm, I'm not the wheat, the, the wheat and the, the checks, though. Yes. So here's the funny part. We drink a lot of high proof mm -hmm. stuff. And I'm pretty picky with it, actually. And we're normally good with it. But this is actually killing my my palate it's been really good on a nice winter day though yeah warm me right down to your toes but i, I, I mean it's it. yeah it's it's like a hot chocolate almost mm -hmm. i feel it like yeah. blitzing my taste buds we really should have done this a while back when i was all stopped up and recovering from a cold I mean, it's medicinal mm -hmm. that's good though i like that it is good i do like it i'd have to drink it more i think to get used to the how it's the alcohol content set up you know it. this may actually be one of those that benefits from just a little bit of spring water drop into it maybe maybe yeah mm. so it's got a ginger feel mm, i think about that it's got a very long end on it it's like i still have that ginger type flavor with checks which is actually mm. an okay taste even though it doesn't sound like it would be good you know the more i drink it the smoother it gets though i figured <laughs> that's why i took two drinks my goodness now i'm starting to feel it Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that third one was good. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. <laughs> I gave you both more than I gave myself. You know, there's a couple of drinks like that I can think of off the top of my head that are. You drink a couple more. Um, <clears throat> well, some of the Buffalo Trace bourbons, for example. Some of those, yeah. You know, three or four sips before that. they start to really come into their own, in my opinion. But um, mm -hmm. I like this. What, what do you think? I? I don't know that it's one I would just want to sit and sip on. Okay. But I'm really glad to get a chance to try it with you all. So would you mix it? No. Ooh, that's probably I wouldn't either. I couldn't weird. think of any maybe ginger ale, that'd be about it. Mm -hmm. uh, ish. And I still wouldn't recommend that. I mean I'd pair it with some things. Uh mm. whatever might actually go with a good citrus or almost a, a high flowery type of a flavor to be paired with. So but yeah, I wouldn't mix it. Yeah. Well, you're you're speaking food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We we try and be clear. You know, flowery, you know, whatever. I just figured my <laughs> outfit. You know, hey, hey, hey. Um, you know, I could see this as a as a good dessert model, though. Honestly, I mean, it it is. It's it's more with coffee. I I could see it replacing an Irish coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After you've had some cake or something. Mm -hmm. After a nice steak. Yeah. It definitely stays with you though. This is a long. Yeah, it's still a long finish. Thing. You know those uh, white cakes that sometimes have like the raspberry ribbon in the middle with like a kind of a cream cheese on the outside? I would drink this with that. Okay. Yeah. Are you hungry, Jason? I just always like cake. Okay. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, and I'm the fat kid. Go figure. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. All right. Well, well recommendations. For me, it's, it's a, is it the best rye I've had? No, but it's good. No. Is it? Do I think it's worth eighty bucks? I don't really think it's worth eighty bucks. No, I've had. I mean, I, w I would say it's not a terrible value. I, I mean, I'm fifty, gonna, sixty bucks, eighty. It's just a little pricey for I'm me. I'm not going to rush out and buy a bottle. No, it's good. I enjoy it. I appreciate it. But yeah, it's not my favorite of the rides I've had. 
I'm also a little cheaper than y'all, so I'd probably only pay up to 45 for that. <laughs> so, 50, right. 60 bucks. Yeah, yeah. it's no, right no, there. So that's the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's interesting. Um, I, I'm going to say it's good quality. It's good flavor, good profile. Yeah, I mean, good yeah. finish, but um, I like it. Mm -hmm. On that note, that is going to be it for us for this video. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Jason, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, appreciate that. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll, we'll have you on some other videos, of course. Mm -hmm. I passed. He passed. And uh, Except he's always talking about food. Now I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> this is Scout Reviews. Have a great day. Take care.